I am going to go through the process of creating the remove rows script that is supposed to remove every third row from an input file and it's supposed to store those rows in an array and it is also supposed to save to an output file. And I recommended we begin with the view orders script from chapter two of our textbook. So that's where I'm going to start. So I have this file open and I'm going to save it to a local directory uh, in my XAMPP installation. And I'll overwrite the existing remove rows file. Don't need to update my links. And the first thing that I'm going to do is delete content that I don't need just to simplify the starting point. Uh, this script has some extra content such as the opening PHP script that specifies the document root. We're not going to use that burial, so I'm just going to delete that. I'm also going to get rid of all the HTML. We don't need that as well. There are some echo statements near the bottom, which we also don't need, so I will delete those. I'll delete the last two tags, the last two HTML tags. And there is also an echo statement that echoes this get type uh, function, which we don't need. I may have added that myself uh, earlier. Oh, and the last thing is this uh, if statement that checks to see if any content was in the input file. And in our case, we know that our input file has content, so we can delete that as well. And I mentioned that we aren't going to be using the document root system variable, so I'm just going to delete the content of this file path and the file name and replace it with the name of the input file that I required in the assignment called input.dat. And I also know that I need an output file, so I'm going to copy this line of code and paste it, and paste it again and duplicate it. And I know that I can't reuse the same variable name for the input file variable, so I need to change these variables, so I'll make one named fp1 and the other one named fp2. The second one is going to be my output file, so I need to change the file name and I'm going to write to it. I'm not going to do any appending, so I'm going to use the w parameter for writing to this file and it will automatically create it if it doesn't already exist. Okay, so what I have right now should technically be functional, except I need to make sure I update my input file variable name in these two locations as well. Now when it reads the input file, it sets the first line equal to this variable named order, the dollar order variable. Now I can use this as my array. Uh, but I need to specify which element in the array gets which line of input from the input file. So I'm going to use a variable named $row and I'll need to increment that. So I'm going to add a $row++ plus plus as the last line of this while loop. And I need to initialize my $row variable so I'm going to do that up here by setting it equal to zero. Now uh, every um, row of the array is identified by this row variable, incremental variable. Now I, I know I will also need another variable to increment so I can test whether I've reached a third row. So I'm going to define that and initialize it here. I'm going to call it inc, and I'll set it equal to zero as well to begin with. And the next thing I'm going to do is I will increment that variable and then test it with an if statement. So now it is a value of one. I've read in the very first row of my input file and that was when the dollar row variable is set to zero. 
as I increment these variables two more times, I will test the dollar increment, the dollar inc variable, to see whether it's equal to three. So I will add an if dollar inc equals, and I use the equal sign twice. At this point, the dollar row variable would be equal to two, but I will have read in uh, the first two rows from the input file. And I will have checked the uh, increment variable for its values of 1 and 2. So I will test this to see if it's equal to 3. And if it is equal to 3, I will set it back to 0. And if it is not equal to 3, then I want to echo the results. I want to save that result to an output file. So I'm going to go ahead and use this echo statement. But I need to specify which row. So, so I will specify that by using the row variable. And I need to use an f put s to output to my output file, and I am outputting the dollar order array in that specific row, and then I close that. And then the last change that I need to make is making sure I close both my input and my output file. So I'm going to copy and paste that last line of code there now it's possible that I've messed something up, and if I do, we will look carefully at what the error statements are when I test this in my browser. So I'm going to save this file. I will shuffle to my browser, and I'll click the Remove Rows link. No, but it's working fine. So that is uh, what's involved in creating a simple script to remove every third row.